So if you really go the whole way and see how you feel at the prospect of vanishing forever, of all your efforts and all your achievements and your, all your attainments turning into dust and nothingness, what is the feeling? That's what it's going to all come to. And for some reason or other, we're supposed to find this depressing. Do you see, in a way, how that is saying the most real state is the state of nothing? But if somebody is going to argue that the basic reality is nothingness. Where does all this come from? Obviously from nothingness. <laughs> Once again, you get how it looks behind your eyes. See? See? So in this way, by seeing that nothingness is the fundamental reality, and you see it's your reality, then how can anything contaminate? All the idea of your being scared and put out and worried and so on is just nothing, it's a dream. Because you're really nothing. But this is the most incredible nothing. So cheer up, you see. The essence of your mind is intrinsically pure. Pure means clear, void. See, if you think of this nothingness as mere blankness, and you hold on to the idea of blankness, and kind of grisly about it, you haven't understood it. He said, nothingness is really like the nothingness of space, which contains the whole universe. All the sun, moon, and stars, and the mountains and rivers, and the good men and the bad men, and the animals and the insects, the whole bit, all are contained in the void. So out of this void comes everything, and you are it. What else could you be? 